So I was suggested to join here by my friend, uh, which helps me about the uh, Islam, which I okay. also talked about him. Uh, he helps me like uh, try to become Muslim. Then. And um, I've been your having... friend. Your friend is trapping you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He forced me to get on here. <laughs> Yes. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Lithuania. Lithuania. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. Okay. So, uh, the, are you like close to the faith of Islam, or do you looking into Islam, or do you believe in something yourself? Or I, uh, I'm looking into Islam, and I find it like very interesting. I am. I want to believe in it. I I believe there is a God, like hundred percent. And um, okay. I was researching religions and uh, some mm-hmm. upon like Islam, and I uh, all all about Islam is like very beautiful. All the laws, all the everything, all the rules, and everything you have to follow. I think it's like very great. What did I want to ask you? Okay, you say you love Islam, you love the teachings of Islam, it makes sense mm-hmm. to you. You believe in a creator, right? Mm-hmm. So what's stopping you from taking the step then? And, and that, that's the faith? that's what I do not know. There is uh, I research, yes. uh, I seek knowledge, but uh, uh-huh. there is something just that uh, I I just feel like I don't have that feeling, or I don't know if you, there is a feeling you need to feel, but I, I there's like I don't feel a strong connection to it. Well. Uh, what I would say to you is this is what I usually say this to other people as well. I'll say, look, this connection and and the belief and all of this uh, like fuzzy feelings, if you want to put it in, in a specific yeah, way, yeah. right? All of these things come after the acceptance of Islam. Because mm-hmm. what we say to the people is that there's something called Iman, your faith. And that increases and decreases. It increases with good deeds and decreases with evil deeds. Which means that you have to do good deeds. You understand? In order for your faith to increase. When your faith mm-hmm. increases, then you start uh, uh, tasting the sweetness of Iman. And mm-hmm. the Prophet ﷺ, he said to us, uh, which is the, the sweetness of, of faith that you're talking about. Prophet said, three, th- three attributes that if they are present in a person, you will find the sweetness of, of faith or Iman. Because Iman to us is more than just faith. It's also actions and speech. So then the Prophet said, who loved Allah and the Messenger more than anyone else. And that will come with your practicing, with your life, with your learning Islam and teaching. And then the person who loves someone, he just loves him for the sake of Allah. Means that you love another Muslim. You only love him because he's a believer like you. And the third attribute is to hate, to come back to this belief after Allah saved you from it. So after you become a Muslim, you hate that you come back to this belief. Because you already see now what faith is, what belief is. You will not have these attributes until you become a Muslim. You understand what I'm trying to say to you. So you will not actually appreciate being a Muslim until you actually enter the faith and start practicing. And then you will start tasting the sweetness of Iman. Then reading the Quran and practicing your, your love for Allah and his messenger will increase. So it's mm-hmm. a, a step-by-step process that takes time. It's not something that will just happen by itself. You understand? So... Mm-hmm. If you're waiting to have these these things before you accept Islam, it's not going to work. But the question should be like this, right? Does you said you 100% believe in God, so we're already done with that, right? Yeah. And Islam makes sense to you. The evidences are there. Do you agree that you have, the evidence is rationally show that Islam is from God? Islam is from uh, like from God, from the Creator. Um. Uh, yeah. It's scripture. It's revelation. Basically, it's coming from God. It's 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 something we need to follow. Is the words of God? The Quran is the words of God. Like God made Islam. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you then, if these things are there and it's rational in your mind, then that's all you need to become a Muslim, because the testimony of faith. You know how you become a Muslim? Oh, you testify there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and you testify that Prophet Muhammad is his messenger and servant, which is what you already believe. You know, so uh, so yeah. Go ahead. I'm uh, just uh, the, the 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 part like uh, converting. I'm just like uh, scared. Like if I convert. I somehow just um, screw up or uh, I change my mind or somehow I, I am just like uh, very paranoid of uh, the disgraceful to Allah and um, not, uh, not, you know, creating many sins, like not praying. Yeah, or... uh, this is, look, this is the most common thing that, that, that Satan comes with to the people to stop them from accepting the, faith, the truth. Why? He tries to say, look, who did not commit sins? We're saying the best People committed sins. The companions of the Prophet, who are the people that we follow after the Prophet, they committed sins. Because they're human mm-hmm. beings. And every human being could, uh, commits sins. So if you, uh, in essence, you're saying, I want to become perfect before I accept Islam. And that is impossible, which means you'll never accept Islam. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, That's yeah. Satan's game. That's Satan's game. You know, mm-hmm. stop mm-hmm. Be, committing sins and accept Islam. Because it will never happen. He succeeded in not making you a Muslim. He succeeded in delaying your, your accepting Islam. Because it will never happen and then you will die that way. And then, you already heard the message and you're an adult. So that means you're accountable for your deeds. If you die that way, then you didn't accept the truth. You understand? So he's trying to, to stop you from accepting the truth because you could die any day. I could die any day. So he's trying to fulfill his purpose by making you die as a disbeliever. 
the point is this i look i'm here i'm talking to you about islam i'm inviting you to islam and i'm i'm a sinner maybe bigger than most of the people in the chat but if my if if just because i commit sins i'm not going to invite people to islam they will not be a person who invites people to islam because we all commit sins so who's going to invite people to islam then who's going to call people to the truth bring me one muslim that doesn't commit sense if we all have this criteria in us none of us will be muslims yeah you understand what i'm yeah. saying yes 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 none of us will be muslims point is to accept the truth follow the message follow the teachings and ignore satan's whispers because he sees you now look you are about to take the testimony that will enter you into paradise he knows look the, the, this is dangerous level now you know <laughs> if you're about you know you play the game you're about to beat the boss right Mm -hmm. so he's trying to stop you in every way shape or form from from succeeding you know you're already at the last step now the step that will actually guarantee you entering paradise if you die upon it so he is trying everything he can and the best he found is to tell you oh you know what sins are not sins all of these things that you come up with there's videos on my channel if you go on my channel there's a pinned video of a person who is saying the same thing you're saying he accepted islam alhamdulillah uh, he was saying, I do tattoos and this and that. I don't, mm -hmm. can I become a Muslim? And I said the same thing to him. I said to him, all of us will commit sins. And then he accepted. Now, uh, he comes and look, I've not seen a, a brother that thanked me more than him after accepting Islam. I've not seen, uh, one, I've not come across one single brother who is as happy and thanked me more than this brother after accepting Islam. He mm -hmm. was so happy. He said to me, thank you, this and that. I said to him, you did it. But the point is sometimes Satan is playing with you, right? Once you commit the action, you accept Islam, you try to practice, you will see that, look, I was, why was I thinking this to begin with? But Satan is whispering, he's doing his best to whisper in your mind to stop you from taking that step. You know it is the truth, you know it's from God, and Allah commanded you to believe. Allah said, kafa, enter into Islam holistically. Allah says to you to follow the Prophet ﷺ. If you love Allah, then you follow the Prophet and Allah will love you. So Allah said to you, obey Allah, obey the Messenger. He's given you commands. If you believe this is literally God, it's as if God is standing in front of you telling you this. You understand? So mm -hmm. you have to take these things seriously because it's from God and you know it's the truth now. So do not make your heart blinded. If it makes sense in the mind, then take that step and practice. And trust me, everything will come. Step by step, everything will come. And another question, uh, should I learn uh, how to pray and stuff before uh, everything or should I uh, learn it uh, while? After, after, after. Yeah, so the Prophet, والسلام, he sent one of his companions, who's called Mu'ad ibn Jabal, he sent him to Yemen. Yemen you know, Yemen is a country, yeah? Yeah, He I sent know, him Yemen. to Yemen and then when he went to Yemen, he said to him, first thing you teach the people is, is monotheism, the oneness of God, the attributes of God and this and that, right? Then he said, if they agree with you, they accept your message now, then teach them how to pray. So, so it, this is how it works. First, you accept monotheism, you accept the testimony of faith, you accept the religion. Then you only focus on how, learning how to pray. Don't ignore other things, right? You only focus on learning how to pray once you accept Islam. And I will connect you. Don't worry. I'll take your details. I'll connect you with people who will teach you how to pray, will mentor you. They will teach you the pillars of Islam and everything like that. Everything you need you, will be sorted out for you. All, uh, all you have to do is just to be open to learning from other people. And that's it. And on your free time, they will contact you. They will teach you. Right? You will learn and you will see there are look thousands of people like you you know uh, just open any channel on youtube with the brothers doing that always every day you have people accepting islam you know it's the truth is the biggest growing religion in the world people study it they know it's from god what is going to delay them from accepting it then the only thing that can delay them is what the message itself says to you will delay you which is satan that's the only thing that actually is going to delay you, okay yeah. and i think you're there i think you're ready because you already believe in it <laughs> if, if you already believe in it who's, who's more ready than you you know no, it's only yeah. point, like, uh, when i um if i revert then uh, i have to also uh, do my best to uh, seek uh, knowledge and uh, do my best to learn yeah but if you die if you die before you revert what happens uh, yeah then uh, then i go to yeah yeah so you're sinning anyways hmm. whether you revert or not there's no the difference is that now if you become a muslim now you have the guarantee to go to paradise if you die that way that's the hmm. only difference it's a positive difference from your state right now and after you accept islam but if you don't, you're still disobeying God. And, and it's worse because you're not accepting the message of God. You're committing a bigger sin. You're not accepting the message of God and you're also disobeying God in other ways. You know, the only unforgivable sin is disbelieving God and associating partners with him in Islam. You're committing that sin and you're saying, I don't want to accept Islam and commit sins. But you're already committing the biggest sin that you could uh, commit, which is disbelieving mm -hmm. God. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So you're just Satan playing with your mind as I said to you. I think no. you're ready.
I yeah. think you're ready. So the biggest thing was just like the that I don't have I don't know the the, the, the just the, the feeling that uh, I don't have the connection to God. I so said you, l- l- I said to you, you'll see the feeling will yeah. come. So you're I saying if you. I if I convert, uh, I will uh, gradually get the exactly exactly gradually. That's the, the key word. It's to be sincere. Pray and you will connect because the prayer in Islam is salah is a connection. You connect with Allah. How can you feel anything when you're not connected to your Lord? So when you start to pray, you will connect. When you go to the mosque, you go with your friends and you try to pray and you see, you will see it will change your life. When you start reading the Quran, you will see this will change your life. But Allah will test you as well. I'm telling you because Allah says, do not think that you will say, I believe and you will not be tested. Allah tests everyone after they believe. But mm-hmm. if you follow the Islam, trust me, the sweetness of Iman will come to you. If you follow Islam the right way, you already. You want to say after me? You know how to become a son? Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I, I almost did it once with my friend, but I, uh, I declined it because I didn't, I wasn't ready, and I don't, I still don't know if I'm ready. There's uh, still you are ready. Paranoia. You are, you are more than ready, right? I just, but, but do you know why? Do you know why? What is my evidence that you're ready? What is? It? You got no rational reasons otherwise. <sighs> you understand what I'm saying, Nidas? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Once you, t- you do the step, you will see. You will see this was the easiest thing you've done in your life. And you will be shocked why you, didn't, <laughs> why you were delayed on, on, on doing it to begin with. Trust me. I just feel like if I do it, I'll just be very lost to what the next step will be. And, uh, well, I that's, have wh- that's where I am. That's where I am to guide you, isn't it? To take your details and, and show you where all the yeah. steps are. You will get my contact as well. I'll give you my email and I'll connect, connect you with the brothers, with the numbers and everything. Don't worry. I think this you, is like... You, a- Jumping into like uh, cold water, you know, like you're very scared to you do it first, but when you do it, then uh, it's like all exactly, all... exactly, absolutely. You know, it's it's a perfect example like, that you brought for. It's a beautiful example. That's it. It's just the fear of of change, something that we naturally have mm-hmm. as humans. You know, mm-hmm. we naturally have the fear of change. If you when you're doing something new, you're doing something different, you naturally feel feel like the fear of change, right? Mm-hmm. It's a, a natural thing. Okay, so. And- and then there's another factor too. Um, my parents are very against Islam as well. I don't, That's I'm nothing not sure to worry about. Very it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, not- because Allah teaches you in the Quran. Even if your parents uh, are trying to force you to disbelief, that you should be good to them, and you don't need to tell them anything until you're ready to speak to them. Most of the the people who accept Islam, there are many of them that they are Muslim uh, became YouTubers. Many of them they don't tell their parents until like one year, two years, until they feel like they're completely ready. You know, you don't do it in the beginning. Until you you actually now positively knowing what you believe in and this and that, and then you can say to your parents if you like. But you're an adult, and and you know your parents. No one will will be um, uh, helping you with God if you disbelieve in God. You know, your parents mm-hmm. are a creation of God. My parents are a creation of God, and and actually you accepting Islam is very important. So you can help them as well later on, a step by step, to come closer to God as well. When you're able to do so, not right now. Mm-hmm. So okay. it's very easy to become Muslim, right? I will say in English. You'll say after me in English, then we'll say it in Arabic, okay? It's called the Shahada, testimony of faith, which is in essence just saying what you already believe in. Nothing new, you know, I already believe in, you're going to say, you know? It's, a, it's like, you know why you believe I'm wearing a hat, you're going to say you're wearing a hat, you know? That's it. Yeah, yeah. You're not doing anything new, right? You're just saying what you believe in, okay? So say after me, I testify. I testify. There's nothing worthy of worship. There's nothing worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify. The Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad. Is his messenger. Is his messenger. And servant. And servant. See, it's very easy, isn't it? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not like the, the hard, you know, it's so, it's very simple. Look, I'll say the same thing you said already in Arabic. Say, Ashadu. Ashadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa Ashadu. Wa Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad, Rasul, Rasul, Allah, Allah. That's it, man. Just give me a hug, man. <laughs> give me a hug. Virtual hug. <laughs> no, I'll give you, man. <laughs> That's it. You know, it, well, life is very simple. It is very, very simple. You will feel like weights are being lifted off your shoulders. You just have the same thing in with you. My friend is he's, texting me right now. <laughs> coming you. It's coming you now, right? <laughs> yes, he's yes. Coming. He's a good brother. He's a good brother, mashallah. It is, wallahi, it is as simple as it is. You know, I'm, wallahi, look, so many brothers and sisters are happy for you. They are, they are, uh, you cannot, you're not going to find a bigger family than Muslims, you know? Mm. Look, look, he's spamming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quit spamming also, me, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, there's, um, at school, we have two classes and out of all of them, we have uh, one Muslim. And I uh, oh. told him about it, that I'm uh, looking into it and I'm trying to convert. And he was like super happy. He 
It didn't even believe me. Well, I, I showed him uh, proof. I uh, showed him my YouTube feed. I have all your videos. I'm recommending everything. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 trust me. It is it's just it's people. No one is more happy to bring people to the truth other than Muslims. You never gonna look. Just put a question about Islam in social media. You get a hundred DMs like from Muslims. You know, trying to help you, trying to direct you to the truth, because this is what Islam teaches us. That we uh, we have to love for people what we love for ourselves. We have to live goodness. We have to love goodness for the people. We have to love people coming closer to. Islam. We've seen Islam's impact on our lives. We've seen have changed how it changed our lives to the better. Why wouldn't we want other people to change their lives to the better too? Why wouldn't we want good for other people too? So it's just Satan stopping you as much as he can from accepting. But you will, and you did, and now you did the, the biggest thing that makes Satan, you know, the biggest thing that would upset Satan on earth, you know, yeah. <laughs> which is to accept the truth, you know. Uh, I had uh, so, many th yeah. uh, theories while uh, searching it. I was like, what if it? I think it's like a very common to think that uh, what if it was just made by the government to control a big mass of people, whatever, whatever. But yes. if you look at today's government, it's all about uh, promoting alcohol. Um, Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, sex and everything, uh, Absolutely. all that. Absolutely. Uh, but that's why, uh, that, that's Islam why is all so... against that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like saying Iran supports the US, but <laughs> Iran is against the US. You get what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> so it wouldn't make any, there's no connection. Islam is the exact opposite of what these governments are, are putting for. Islam is a, it's it's uh, it's about submission to God, not to people, not elites, right? Islam mm. is about no alcohol, the complete opposite of the what the West is showing you. Uh, no no fornication, no pornography, no, none of this nonsense, which is all what the West is pushing you. Now, if you speak against these things, you're cancelled, isn't it? If you speak against the LGBTQ, you're cancelled. If you speak against the what do you call it, the uh, people in Palestine, you get cancelled. <laughs> if you speak about the Uyghur. Mm -hmm. uh, Muslims uh, are being persecuted, you get cancelled, right? Yeah, so, and that's what, what Muslims are talking about. So why are they cancelling us if we are with them, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so it's it's like look, it's the it's the Islam is as clear as day that is the truth, as Allah says in the Quran. You yeah? know, how do you feel? I I feel very happy. I feel like um I, I, I feel uh I feel like I well I don't even know how to like uh, word it, but uh Describe I feel it. like I did something that I needed to do a long time ago actually. Alhamdulillah. I... Well, I am happy that, that you came and you took your step. I didn't do anything. It was the time for you to get guided. And Allah guided you because he saw sincerity in you. Right? And many people were not sincere. But Allah sees sincerity in you. So Allah Azza Jal guided you to the truth. You know? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm very happy you come on. And you're welcome to come on time. Right? Uh, my email, I will. Uh, someone will drop it in the chat. Hopefully, they will do it quickly this time. You know? <laughs> someone will drop it in the chat. And then I will, I will uh, show it to yeah. you. Just email me. Your, your personal details, right? Mm -hmm. So I can uh, add you, inshallah. I'll, I'll put your, yeah, there we go. Inshallah, Mustafa is there, he's ready. Okay, that's the email, right? Just email mm -hmm. email me with your personal details. I will connect you with, with our new Muslim team, right? And then they will they will tell you anything you need, basically. They'll teach you the basics. They'll tell you how to pray and all of that. The step-by-step -step journey. And take your time, yeah? Just focus on reading the Quran and learning how to pray. What you, what they will tell you, right? Nothing else. Don't worry about oh, Islam says this and this and that. But they don't overwhelm yourself, you know. Yeah, you I, have I, I haven't done much except for uh, memorize the first line of uh, Surah Al Fatiha. Mashallah, you already yeah. memorized what I read. You already doing oh, it. Oh, no, <laughs> only the only the first line. That that is no problem. It's more than enough. <laughs> it's more that you are not even Muslim, but you're memorizing it. Mashallah, you get, you get some people. Trust me, look, you were worried about committing sins. There are Muslims who, who day and night they sin, and they're not worried about this. And you're not even a Muslim. You're worried about it, that you're gonna commit sins, right? <laughs> and that's the beauty, the purity of of faith, right? People who actually believe in God, people who are close to God, they feel that way, you know. So I'm very happy that that you came on. You know, no, that's no, my I'm email, as I said. Mm -hmm. That's my email. That's my email, as I said. So mm -hmm. email me if you need anything from me, and uh, email me your personal details. The uh, personal with, details as in uh... your name, your your age, and your phone number, and that's it. That's mm -hmm. enough. Okay. And and if you need the Quran, then you can give me your address. I can probably send you one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. And say salam to your friend because he's, he seems very nice. You know. <laughs> yeah, he is very yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mashallah. Okay, I'll let you go now. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. I see you, my brother. Assalamu alaikum. I'll see you, inshallah. See you.